of interpretation of dreams by heinrich cornelius agrippa von nettlesheim fourteen eighty six to fifteen thirty five this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org of interpretation of dreams here we may usher in the interpretation of dreams called oneirocritica whose interpreters are properly called conjecturers according to that verse in euripides he that conjectures least amiss of all the best of prophets is to this delusion not a few great philosophers have given not a little credit especially democritus aristotle and his follower themistius senesius also the platonic so far building upon examples of dreams which some accident hath made to be true that thence they endeavour to persuade men that there are no dreams but what are real for say they as the celestial influences produce diverse forms in corporeal matter so out of certain influences predominating over the power of the fancy the impressions of visions is made being consentaneous through the disposition of the heavens to the effect which is to be produced more especially in dreams because the mind being then at liberty from all corporeal cares and exercises more freely receives the divine influences therefore it happens that many things are revealed in dreams to them that are asleep which are concealed from them that wake with these reasons they pretend to beget a good opinion of the truth of dreams but as to the causes of dreams both external and internal they do not all agree in one judgment for the platonics reckon them among the specific and concrete notions of the soul avison makes the cause of dreams to be an ultimate intelligence moving the moon in the middle of that light with which the fancies of men are illuminate while they sleep aristotle refers the cause thereof to common sense but placed in the fancy avieros places the cause in the imagination democritus ascribes it to little images or representatives separated from the things themselves albertus to the superior influences which continually flow from the skies through many specific mediums the physicians impute the cause thereof to vapours and humours others to the affections and cares predominant in persons when awake others join the powers of the soul celestial influences and images together all making but one cause arthemidorus and aldianus have written of the interpretation of dreams and certain books go about under abraham's name whom philo in his book of the giants and of civil life asserts to have been the first practitioner thereof other treatises there are falsified under the names of david and solomon wherein are to be read nothing but mere dreams concerning dreams but marcus cicero in his book of divination hath given sufficient reasons against the vanity and folly of those that give credit to dreams which I purposely here omit. End of Of Interpretation of Dreams by Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa von Nettlesheim, 1486-1535